assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Buenos nachos, cabla amigos, and welcome to another. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Mmm, that looks bad. When was the last time you had a tetanus booster? I don't. Ow! What is that? Looks like a number 11 fastening bolt. Used to hold up a number 11 ah! spotlight. That's it. I'm calling the network. I demand some answers. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, hold on. Fred Stockdale speaking. Do you see what's going on here? I'm getting killed. And you're killing me. <laughs> Funny is money. I don't believe it. He hung up on me. Uh, Henry, on second thought, that bolt actually holds up. Well, I've got news for him. A whole bank of lights. Er, while I fix Henry's head, why don't you get your fix of action right now? Dateline, the moonlit waters of Big Kitchen Lake, where the chief tries out a dateline of his own. Come here, baby, and give me a smoochie. But Snookums, shouldn't we be getting back to shore? Don't worry, sweet little pudding pop. We're in the love boat. Well, I'm getting love boat sick. It's <laughs> just a little breeze. Here, let me comfort you. Whoa! Oh. Ah! And the unnatural cause of this natural disaster? Haha, <laughs> with my new wind machine, I'm gonna blow the Action League away. Literally! Action League, now. Today's episode, Winds of Evil. We find our heroes at Action HQ discussing a matter of vital importance. Sorry we missed your party last night, Stinky. Yeah, I hope you didn't go to a lot of trouble. Oh no, not at all. Huh, guess everyone's a bit late. We wanted to come, but, uh... uh I had to wash my hair. Uh, I had to wash my socks. I thought we didn't go because this house is a toilet and smells like you know what. <laughs> would you look at the time? So me flat smells like you know what, eh? Just for that, I'm never inviting any of yous into my home again. Fine. Good. What a relief. <sighs> Chief, what happened to you? I got my fanny waxed by another freak windstorm! If we don't do something, millions could die! Lab guy, analysis! There's nothing we can do. Oh well, guess that's it for today! Alright! Half day! See ya! Later that night... Hey, Rumi, where you going? Mandy Patinkin's on Leno! Ah! Looks like one action moron just found out which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> Don't worry, Melty. You'll be safe here. You're a real pal, Flesh. Nighty night. It's like the storm's following us wherever we go. My house blowed away. Relax, this house was built to last. Until today! Ah! It's a miracle, we're okay. Ah! With nowhere else to turn, our houseless heroes arrive at number two, Lavatory Lane. Stinky! Help! Let us in! What do you want? The hurricane destroyed all of our houses. Let us in. 
but I thought my home smelled like you know what. It does, but we're desperate. You had your chance. Oh no, it's starting again. Hey, at you lunkheads, say hello to your biggest fan. The, the mayor. mayor! You were expecting Al Roker? But enough about me. Will the League be blown to bits? Will Stinky stay selfishly sealed? Find out in the action-huffed conclusion of Action League now. Auga! Now that's what I call hey, calamity. Hey, ho, ho! Workplace hazards got to go! Hey, hey, ho, ho! Workplace hazards got to go! What gives, bucko? You saw what happened, June? With the lights and the conking? And the lights? Aren't you overreacting just a smidge? No, I'm not overreacting. It's not just me, June. Why do you think the whole crew is standing behind me? I told you it was gonna be the number four. Oh, lucky guess. <laughs> Come on, Hanster. You've got to admit, it is kind of funny. And if it makes the people laugh, then... Yeah! You were saying? Hey, hey, ho, ho, workplace hazards, got to go. While we take it to the man, why don't you take it to Prometheus and Bob? What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 400, IQ test. Still to come, Life with Loopy, Fuzzball, and when we return, more Action League Now, right here on Kablam! Action.
Russian League. Now, the league blown away. Stinky's throne still okay. As time runs out, have the league's chances for survival gone down the tubes? Help! Please save us! Will you promise to come stay for a weekend at me beach house? Yes! yes. Okie dokie! Hurry! Welcome to Shea Stinky! Yeah! Your dumper's no damper to me. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Mayor. Your John is gone. Full power. Uh oh, here's trouble. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. All clear. We made it. Thanks, Stinky. No problem. You blokes are gonna love me, Beach House. That weekend... The smell! Can't breathe! Air, please! Hey, what are you guys doing up here? We're serving dinner downstairs! Help! The end. Boy, that action league sure was... Let's skip it. June and I are about to give the boss man the what for about Kablam's unsafe working conditions. Now remember, he's a real slickster. We've got to stay on our toes. Check. Mr. Stockdale? Who? Oh, yes. What can I do you for? Studio tour? Free hats? No, Mr. Stockdale, we're Henry and June, and we demand to know what you plan on doing about... Oh, yes, I think we can settle this right now with this nice new roll of dimes. Ha! Get real, bub. Shiny. Henry! Dimes. You can forget your blood money, mister. We're walking. Um, sir, we're still on the air. Oh, I see. Go, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Go, Freddy. Ooh, kicking. Kicking. Kicking that Freddy flavor. Yeah. Hi, Larry here. You know, I'm the kind of guy who avoids a fight whenever possible. Run now, party later. That's my motto. But with Gloopy around, sometimes it just isn't that simple. Take last summer. <laughs> hey, what the? Got a problem, String Bean? Uh, no. Uh... Hey, Bozo, don't you talk to my brother like that. He could beat the pants off of you. Uh, listen, that's not exactly... Oh, you could, could you? Okay, tough guy, let's put it to the test. Hey, TJ, come on, dude. We're gonna be late for kickboxing class. Listen, I'll meet you back here one week from today. I will see who beats the pants off of who. Gloopy, what have you done? I'm too young to die. Don't soil your shorts, Samson. It's all under control. Look, spent strong guards, body basics, muscles of steel in only five days. Beat the pants off that bully or your money back. Well, what could I do? Seemed like Sven was my only chance. Gloopy called the 800 number, and the very next day I was on my way to He-Man Heaven in the comfort of my own home. Ben's course turned out to be everything that I promised. And by day five, my pecs were pumped, my biceps were bulging, and my abs were slabs. I'm a mean, preteen muscle machine. And I owe it all to Sven Strongguard. Now, being a hard body wasn't just a hobby. It was a whole new lifestyle. And that's something not everyone could relate to. Uh, son, you've been in there for three hours now. The rest of us need a little private time, too, you know. Boy, I'm starving. What's for dinner, Mom? Well, let me see now. 
I guess we'll be ordering in again. Uh, excuse me, son. Mind if I switch to the gardening channel? Tell you what, Pops. I'll wrestle you for the remote. Oh, well, now I'm not so sure about that. Ah! Uh-oh. I've turned Larry into a macho monster. And there's only one person who can set him straight. Hello, Mr. Strongguard? Larry! I think it's for you. Hey! Who's the midget? Sven Strongard. Sven, Sven Strongard? But... 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 You don't look anything like your picture. <laughs> My dear, that comic book is 20 years old. The building of the body is no longer of interest to Sven. For as it is written in my new book, the Zen of Sven, the most important muscle in the body, is the brain. But, but, but... Come, Larry, you have much to learn from Sven's teachings. But we must start by losing these ridiculous bulges. They are clearly impairing your thought processes. Well, the Zen of Sven proved to be quite an eye-opener. And the very next day I was back at the beach and ready to face the music. Okay, Wimpoid, time to put up or shut up. Very well, my friend. In the words of Sven Strongar, though the mighty Nordic moose is 10,000 times stronger than the clever Arctic ant, it takes but one ant to make that moose itch. Are you calling me a moose? So I guess Sven's words of wisdom don't work for everyone. But it didn't really matter. Ow! Cause Loopy had figured out an even better use for him. Come on, bro. Let's go home. Kablam! Now that we've walked off the show, we've got those slave drivers right where we want them. No doubt. Everyone knows there's no show without us. Hey, Cublammers. I'm Herbie. And I'm Jane. We're toast. Don't worry, June. Just wait till they get hit on the head with a light. Ouch. That hurt, Jane. Really? No. Ha 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 there's something very strange about this. Well, we are having a lot of fun, Jane. But now it is time for another cartoon. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, that Ray hit him in the head. <laughs> Henry, he's a robot. They're both robots. We've been replaced by machines. Whoa, looks like it's time for plan B. You mean... Yep. We hightail it back to the studio and beg for our jobs. This is my town, West Valley, PA. And this is the highlight of the West Valley social season, the annual feast of St. Stanislaus Fair. Every year, Burton Hanks goes on the zipper after eating 12 funnel cakes and proves that you don't buy fried dough, you rent it. Every year, my bud Cake and me stand under the salt and pepper shaker and rake in the pocket dumpage. And every year, another rusty old ride finally gives out. But this year, I'm missing it all, because I don't have a ride. They call me Fuzzball, and I'm stuck here like a dingleberry, because my dad said he'd drive me and then remembered it's his stupid bowling night. Whoa, 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 Fuzzball! Your father works hard to put a little kielbasa on the table. He deserves a little R&R &R once in a while. Unbelievable. I'm getting lectured by a figment of my own imagination that is so TVY. And another thing, what's with those clothes? Are you trying to look like a boy? It's called style? Yeah, if you're a boy. That's it. <laughs> You are in so much trouble. Come on, Fuzz. I think you're overreacting. No, I'm serious, Cake. If I don't figure out how to fix this thing before my dad gets home, I'm hot buttered history. Wait, I got a better idea. I could change my name, 
get plastic surgery and move to Philly. Or you could just go to that bowling trophy store. Dude, wrap it to go. On second thought, I'll eat it here. Who knew those things were so expensive? And by the way, Flapjack, I'm not a boy. It's a fashion statement. Why do people keep saying that? They must be jealous. Here's a radical idea. Tell your dad the truth. Come on, Cake. Give me something I can use. How about that? When the going gets tough, the tough go bowling. So, uh, how many of those sticks do I have to knock over to get the trophy? 300. That's it? Rapid to go. <laughs> Sorry. Must have been, uh, the wind. Hey, it's called a practice throw. Let me guess. Another practice throw. Attention, bowlers. In case there is any confusion, the pins are the white uh, pins located at the far end of the lane. Thank you. Uh, Buzz? Is this one for real? I'm all out of eraser. Maybe I should just tell my dad the truth. I'm sure he'd understand. Or maybe not. Attention, lane 12. What do I have to do to get you to leave? Well, that was easy. I bet that guy would have given us his card to get us out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fuzz, I still think you should tell your dad the truth about what happened. Why? Because he'd probably understand and think the whole thing was funny? No, because there's a lady on that trophy. How are you doing, fella? <sighs> Looks like I'm going to eat it here. Oi, what a show it's been. One of our top ladies ever. Mr. Stockdale, we're sorry for walking off the set. Just give us our jobs back. Please forgive us. We'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Have we met? We're Henry and June, the hosts of Kablam. That's impossible. Herbie and Jane are the hosts. Look at them. They're perfect. Robots never complain or ask for food or drink or even breath mints. It's go, go, go. They're completely unstoppable. Oh, no. It's over. But now who's going to host the show? Ahem. We could step in. You? Have you ever been on television before? Oh, no matter. Just go out there and give it all you've got. That's all the time we have for tonight, Kablam Droids. Be sure to join us next time right here on Ka- Well, unsafe at any speed, just the way you like it. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network!